来接人。Two days ago, the army announced martial law across all of Thailand and insisted it was not a coup d'état. Today, they dropped all pretense and announced a coup d'état. The day's event started with peace negotiations, which were held at the army club but quickly collapsed and resulted in the arrest of protest leaders from both sides. They then told the PDRC and Red Shirts to clear their camps and go home. PDRC left on their own accord while the red shirts were forced out by soldiers. From there, the army suspended the constitution, shut down all television stations, imposed a curfew, and took full control of the country. ต้องเข้าควบคุมอำนาจในการปกครองประเทศตั้งแต่วันที่22 Anti-government PDRC spared the army's heavy hand and allowed to break down their own site on their own terms. ไอ้จนใจผมผมก็ยากให้พวกผมมาในแนวนี้ผมก็คือว่าหลักเพ็นดินหลักประเทศชาติเพราะว่าทางเสื้อแดงเข้าเดินในทางที่พิษผมก็ยากให้ปฏิวัติเสื้อแดงออกไป it's not clear what the coup means for the PDRC. They may have got their wish for the government to be overthrown, but Sutep and other senior leaders were arrested, and the armies made no indication of what they'll do next. Though their supporters were ecstatic at the news of a military coup, it appears as though the PDRC's days have now been numbered and their organization disbanded. Last night at 1 a.m., the army issued an order for ex-Prime Minister Yingluck Shinawatra to report to them this morning. The last time the army called for a meeting, which was yesterday, it resulted in the arrest of all the attendees. It's a total mob scene here outside of the army club. Every time a car comes up, the press is just on top of them in a second. No one has any idea who's in the tinted out window car. Recently ousted Prime Minister Yung Lok Shinawatra has just arrived two hours late for a meeting with the army. The question now is will she be able to leave? She reported at noon and was detained, along with her sister and brother-in-law, who were then all transferred to an army base two hours outside of the capital. So we've seen smaller anti-coup protests earlier today, but nothing of this scale. Hundreds of people have showed up to express their anger at the army. Among the junta's new restrictions on society, are bans on the gathering of more than five people in public places and any speech that criticizes the coup d'etat or the army. Tonight, a group of a couple hundred people defied those bans and took to one of Bangkok's busiest intersections to voice their anger at the army and demand elections. So we've just heard a rumor that the army has set a time limit for the anti-coup protesters to disperse, otherwise they'll disperse them themselves. Move forward. Now they're retreating, but things are still very tense. Okay, okay. Okay. No take photo. No take photo.
General Prayuth has declared himself Prime Minister and suspended the Constitution. Border crossings with Laos and Cambodia have been closed. And the army's banned at least 155 politicians and activists from leaving the country. The numbers aren't clear, but it seems at least some 100 political figures from both sides have already been detained by the army. It's not yet clear what the army's endgame is. Some insist this is a genuine attempt to restore stability to the country and lay the groundwork for future elections. All signs at the moment, however, point to something very different.